Welcome back to Dark Corners Streaming. 2020 Sputnik, which you can watch on Netflix, feels like an alternative Russian sequel to Ridley Scott's Alien, taking that narrative of discovering something dangerous in space and bringing it back to Earth. Psychologist Tatiana Klimova is enlisted to talk to the sole survivor of a space mission, cosmonaut Konstantin, and find out what happened. Definite shades of Denis Villeneuve's arrival, but it's also a plotline that connects this to that monument of Russian science fiction, Andrei Tarkovsky's Solaris. And it's worth remembering that Russian cinema has a great tradition of science fiction, going right back to the silent era and films like Elita, Queen of Mars. That's a lot of influences to name drop in a short time and make Sputnik sound derivative, which I suppose it is, but it uses those influences intelligently to tell its own story, as Tatiana discovers that Konstantin is more than he seems. I don't want to reveal too much about the central narrative because although I think most people go in knowing the basic premise, it does take unexpected turns, heading in ever darker directions. What I do want to stress is how well this is made in terms of its characters, in the way it builds, and the tension it maintains. Tension it releases in sudden shocks or violent action. Another thing that really works for it in terms of that tension is its setting, which is the Soviet Union in the 1980s. Tatiana is under almost as much scrutiny as her subject. And there is a question of on which side of the glass is she safest, because the authorities certainly aren't telling her everything. This is a film that wants to be, for want of a better term, intelligent science fiction, thought-provoking, asking moral questions, and it absolutely succeeds in that. But for me, and I think for a lot of people, what it does really well is tense sci-fi horror. For that reason, it may lose some people in the latter stages. It didn't me. I enjoyed it all the way through, even if I found the ending just a little pat. Another film it weirdly reminded me of, just to keep dropping these in, was The Lives of Others, an intelligent, character-driven film with much moral ambiguity, but also an exceptional edge-of-the-seat thriller. Sputnik has a great premise, a great central performance from Oksana Akinchina, and great cinematic technique. If you've never seen Russian sci-fi, this is a good place to start. Thanks for watching. Have you seen Sputnik? I know the second half didn't work for everyone. Which camp did you fall into? Let us know in the comments below.